Yo, what is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Today we're bringing you guys like kind of like a an Atlas just like overview video. Uh, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm just gonna like talk about his kit, how to play him kind of, what to do with him, and then just like where I would place him on a tier list and like how good I think he is. So like if you guys haven't seen the uh, the introduction video about Atlas, I'll just give you guys a little rundown quickly. So his passive is um, this thing right here. After you get this ball flinging around, uh, you'll get this little tremble thing it takes a little bit longer to send out that auto But you just left click and it'll send out that uh, that tremble it'll tremble gods and it will Stun minions his Q is a object that you throw goes out like that It takes over your auto attack slot So you no longer can auto attack but instead you like pulse your astrolabe and the astrolabe is this thing that he's carrying um, Your two the first one it just pulls people to you like the outside cone, it pulls people to you. The inside cone, you pick them up and you can walk a little bit, throw them. The two and one combo together, throw it in the middle first. So if you two while your one is out, it'll pull them towards the center like that. And then if you get them in this little inside one and you two, it'll pull them to it and then throw them to you. So that's his, uh, his little one, two combo. His three, he cleanses, slows. And then if he cleanses a slow from his ally and he runs into an enemy, he will slow them and then your ult you call down this radiation thing and it does tick damage and then you can release it early and it'll send out this giant laser uh or you can hold it and then wherever you're facing that's where the laser will go so say say i place it right here and then i turn around this way the laser will go like that towards that way that's his kit pretty simple kit overall i think the only thing that's a bit confusing is calling back the astrolabe because you can call it back you toss it out insta insta q again or insta one again whatever you have it on and you can instantly call it back i think you're gonna kind of just be playing him more as a peel god his setup is okay but hardly ever can you hit it like somebody's walking away this guy's slowed you can kind of hit it but most people just have dashes i guess if you're playing against like an amc i mean even then amc has got like forty-five thousand movement speed if you're playing against a Zeus. Say you're playing against a Zeus. Maybe you can hit the one-two combo and it won't feel bad. Uh, but most of the time, I think you just throw out your one for zone control. Late game, it actually does a lot of damage. So if you look at this, the basic explosions are 23 plus six per level. And you say you get level 20, its base damage is 143. Down. So on a level one target, it does 123. Like that's good area damage. People can't really just walk into it. So say you're pulling an objective or something, or a team fight is happening and you don't want the squishies to get in. You don't want them to go that way across it. Well, they have to try to get through it and take I mean, as many ticks as you can get off. Oh, also, your one pulse, this pulse right here, it scales with attack speed. The more attack speed you have, the more often you can uh, do those little uh, tremble thingies. I also think you kind of just play to let the game come to you, kind of like a Kepri, a Sylvanas. He has decent dive. He doesn't have the tankiness of a, a Sobek, a Bacchus, a Kuzumbo Cab, like a dive god to just run into the back line and try to live. So I think you're best off playing him as a peel sort of guardian. Um, his peel isn't great, but it's not bad. If, you're, if your carry's getting dove, you can toss this on him and then two, and it's your carry just sits on that. And you have a lot of CC duration during that. Or you can just pick him up and throw him away. Let your carry get away. I think this one is better off if you just want your carry to live and it's good for setup. This one's better off if your carry can't really get away. So you're just better off getting this long, long CC. Also, you could toss down your alt, so you one alt, two, and you're getting a bunch of ticks, and then shoot off your alt. I think that's really all there is with them. That's kind of just how to play them. I think you just want a little more back line. Uh, if somebody's getting slowed on your team, just three by them, and you'll take their burden, this little circle around you. If uh, somebody is slowed when your teammates inside of that, you take that burden. And by burden, I don't know. It, it says you, like, take the burden, so I keep saying that, but you take the... Slow. And I think how you're going to want to be playing him at a ranked comp casual level is he's going to be a very good objective god, I think. You know how Fafnir, you kind of just transform and you buff your team and you just kind of kill stuff instantly because you're just giving him extra uh, auto attack speed and then extra power based on your power or extra damage based on your power. I think it's kind of going to be like that because you can walk to an objective. We'll, we'll walk to this fire gen. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to solo it, but you walk to an objective. And you can start shredding its cross. 54. You're just going to be shredding it for more and more and more and more. And then eventually you're going to have... That's 35% pen onto it. XC is 28. And it's only for physicals. So 
your objective damage and your objective kill potential is actually going to be pretty insane with this god if your hunter goes a crit item early or something like that and they're lacking percent pen it doesn't matter you can just walk to the objective and pull it because you have percent pet or pretend pretend prot shred in your kit so say like this is a fight starting the enemy's over there my team's over here we can just pull this and then alt onto it and your team can just slowly kill it and then you can even toss your two down if anybody blinks on your back line you have your two to kind of peel for them if they're getting slowed by fire giant or something you can cleanse it with your three but i think his strength will lie in his objective fights because you also don't really want to pull an objective in front of him just because of like the area damage he kind of has his damage isn't great but his like control is kind of okay if that makes sense but objectives will fa fall very very quickly around him overall on the character i think he's like really fun i don't think he's great as a character his kit just doesn't do as much as like the top guardians right now like let's just name off a couple of the top supports terra um yamoja probably the top two supports right now maybe geb they just have an unreal team fight unreal if their ult is up it's very very hard to fight into them and then you look at atlas like this is a good team fight ult his kit is decent in team fights but the damage isn't there and the control and the cc and like just the utility isn't there terra's got a heal damage cc setup yamoja has heal shield cc walls set up they just have like a lot of utility and his is just decent cc decent damage decent utility no healing it's just not as great as them and then if you look at the other top characters you look at bacchus sylvanas kepri they just do kind of more than he would if that makes sense if you guys are curious like kind of what i mean you want me to elaborate further just let me know in the comments but i, I think the character as he is is very fun but i think he's just a bit limited on what he can do and i think his kit should get a little bit of love and more supporty stuff that's it that's gonna be the video it's a little bit of my thoughts on atlas how to play him stuff like that i do think he's very enjoyable and i think you guys will have a lot of fun if you do play him i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day peace out